Hello, Hubert. How are you going? My instrument has a terrible rattle. Please, can you help me? Oh, that can be really frustrating. Well, it should only be a quick thing. Well, there can be many reasons for a rattle. Well, it's only an overnight thing, isn't it, when it has a rattle, usually? Just an open spot, you glue it, next day I pick it up. Some colleagues of mine brainstormed and they pretty much came up with about 130 different possibilities. Really? Oh. Well, I'll go and unpack it then. Here you go. Hmm. Yes, I can definitely hear it. I'd say the seams are unglued. So what could be the reason? So it could be a peg box crack, a wayward peg, loose scroll, an open neck graph, the neck's cut too low, the nut is loose. Yes, the fingerboard is loose, the fingerboard is convex. Okay. There are grooves worn into the fingerboard, a cracked fingerboard, a crack in the neck. A loose neck. Mm -hmm. A buzzing string because it's just too old. What about a fake string? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Or a crack in the bottom block. A crack in the top block. The top block could be loose at the top plate. Loose, loose label, label F-hole crack, F-holes crack, F -holes joined, joined at the top, top with varnish. varnish. Loose soundpost patch, loose double edging, loose base bar, loose cleats and side resin bubble, loose patches on the glue, glue cord under the purfling, loose corner blocks, loose lining, loose ribs, crack in the ribs. Oh, okay, yes, yes. Rib cleat loose, worm damage on the ribs, rib corner joint rattling, open back joint. Crack at back, back soundpost patch coming undone, loose double edging at back, button coming off. Horizontal crack, bridge not fitted, crack in bridge, bridge kidneys collapsing, E string protector tube buzzing, tail piece buzzing, loose tail piece bar, loose tail guard, too long tail guard, fine tuner buzzing, chin rest buzzing at tail piece, chin rest buzzing, chin rest screw loose, chipped hard varnish, loose saddle. Hubert, wake up! Oh, okay, yes, that's a lot of reasons. Oh yes, I can definitely hear it. Well, what can we do, Olaf? Mm. Firstly, the chin rest is loose, so I'll tighten that. it's just simple. The fine tuner was loose. Anyway, it could have been any one of about 130 other things. Here you go. Thank you so much, Olaf. You really saved me yet again. Goodbye. It's the most frustrating thing because you're just trying to play and make beautiful music but uh, but you know the instrument is just making this horrible noise. So as you heard there can be multiple reasons for buzzes or rattles. So there's either ones that are superficial that are on the outside or there are some more structural problems with the instrument. Let me go through them. So the more external ones are the, are the buzzes caused by things that are attached to the instrument, like the tailpiece, chin rest, bridge, strings, uh, even the pegs, um, or the sound post inside. They're quite often the more simple problems. And then it could get become more complicated where sections of glue may have come apart, uh, a spot may have split open, there can be little like secret splits that you can't even see. So those kinds of things can be a lot more difficult to work with. 
the other day I had a cellist come in, actually I had a couple of people come in with the same problem, but I had a cellist come in and literally she had been, for about a year, she'd been coming in and out of my father's workshop and my workshop, trying to find this annoying buzz, it just this string, just it just had this fuzzy sound. Anyway, it turned out that the strings were old. So we could have just changed the strings and the problem would have been gone, which is what we did in the end. But before we got there, we kind of, we really tried, you know, tried to figure out if there was any open spots and then there were some open spots, but they weren't the cause of the buzz. So it was a, it was quite a process and it can be, it can be like a mystery, you almost feel like a detective. Oh, oh yes, Watson. From the information at hand, I deduce that the buzz must be coming from, well, I don't know where. Anyway, it, it really becomes like a mystery and you, you go through, like you, you basically troubleshoot. And, and there are close to, there are over a hundred potential causes that uh, are listed a bunch before, as you heard. But uh, there are actually more. I, I, that's just what I could think of uh, off the top of my head. Um, so the, the external things that can cause problems are things like the, like I was saying, the strings. The strings could be buzzing against the, uh, against the fingerboard or um, the fingerboard might need planing. Uh, sometimes even the, ra the, the pegs can rattle. Um, you know, sometimes pegs have those beautiful little gold tips and they can make buzzing, buzzing noises. I've had that. On double basses, the, the uh, machine heads actually can make some pretty impressive noises. What if the scroll had a very, like a, a hairline crack? Or there was a crack just in the, uh, in one of the holes, uh, the peg holes. Or there was a crack just at the base of the neck here. Or a neck graft, which is a, a piece of timber that replaces the neck but, but joins onto the scroll, could be loose. Or what if the whole top plate is just coming off in, in certain sections? Or if, uh, if some of the internals have problems? Uh, what if the bridge, you know, the bridge could be causing a buzz, the tailpiece, the chin rest? Um, uh, quite often it is actually little sections of the instrument opening, like that's the most common cause. And that's not unusual and it's actually not a bad thing. So when a section of top plate or, or back opens, the way I hear it is I, I actually knock. And if you listen carefully, you may be able to hear this actually has a very minor open section. I'll try and find one that actually, oh actually I've shown it before, one second. Okay, here is an old English violin that actually has an impressive buzz. Listen to this. So yes, there are definitely some joints open on this violin. Uh, I'll be gluing those <laughs> before I sell it. So other causes can be on the inside. So this is actually a top plate I'm working on and it's had a lot of cracks and I'm still working on it. But here you can see some of the things that can cause problems on a, uh, on a repair. So any of these, firstly, the cracks could be open. The base bar could be loose. That can also cause a buzz. So these cleats could be loose and that can cause a buzzing noise. Um, this has double edging. See how um, someone has put um, another piece of timber here to thicken, it, thicken the edge after too many repairs. That could actually buzz. Uh, the purfling itself, which is the inlay, could buzz and could be coming loose. Um, other reasons could be this is a sound post patch, so the instrument has had a crack over the sound post and that crack's been repaired and then they've put a patch in that's called a sound post patch. Those sometimes come undone, so sound post crack could be coming undone and causing a buzz. So this is the back and sides of that same instrument. So this, uh, along the edge here, there's a thing, uh, things called lining. Um, they make the, the ribs just that little bit thicker, like it's a, it's a strip of wood that makes the ribs a bit thicker, and it gives the top plate a little bit of a thicker gluing surface. They're called lining. Uh, that could be coming undone, or any of the blocks, like these are the corner blocks, these four, they could be coming undone. 
or um, or even the the bottom block uh, sorry the top block and the or the bottom block also sometimes the bottom block or top block could have a split in it as well that's a lot of reasons then also the um, the fingerboard could be coming loose um, there are so many possible causes to a buzz or a rattle but when you have that problem it's really important that you get on top of it as quickly as possible and the annoying thing is that sometimes the instrument just won't make the noise for the violin maker um, another interesting one is actually the spike in a cello quite often uh, causes a buzz you know it can have like a screw a loose screw or um, or it can yeah sometimes it actually just buzzes when it's retracted and then you think the instrument has a buzz until you take it out also sometimes I get that uh, clients come in and the instrument just won't buzz for the violin maker you know at home it has a huge buzz they come in here and it's gone and then they go home and the buzz starts again of course uh, so that can be really frustrating and uh, I do have that happen a lot and so people ring up and they want to come back also sometimes weather changes can have an effect so when it suddenly gets dry the instrument could come open uh, because the timber has shrunk together or if there's a lot of humidity uh, like really high humidity sometimes the instrument can come apart as well so it's good to keep the instrument at a good medium humidity really look after it if you do hear a buzz try and like you know do some basic troubleshooting but if you can't find it on the outside, you know, it's time to go and see a luthier. It's really important to come in because it could be the start of a bigger problem. And if you get to it early, it could be a cheaper repair. But if you wait too long, it could become really expensive. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video, press the like button. Uh, click the hit the subscribe button so you find out every time I post a new video. And the trick is to also hit the little bell next to it because then you definitely get notified. Keep making beautiful music. I'll see you guys later.